I'm in Cherokee, North Carolina. And we're gonna show you some holes to fish while I'm up here, so stay tuned. If you have any uh, kind of mobility issues, I would recommend coming right down here to fish. Easy, easy access, easy to get to from the road. You ain't got to walk very far. I tell you now, I caught one of the biggest trout I caught in years off right behind one of these rocks right out here. And I just, I just run it past back behind that rock, and he took it. That little current break behind those rocks are always good. We're going to throw right in front of him. I don't know if you see it. A little bit of a current. It's, it's whirling up there, but uh, let's run right through there and see if we can pick up one. Right in there. Going right behind it. Now I'm up here with uh, two other guys. We come up here this morning and uh, the guy above me, he's already caught one right out here. Like I say, it's cloudy. Rained a little bit a while ago. It ain't affected the water level. Uh, there's an app you can go on. It's called uh, River App. And uh, there's a river gauge right here at Bird Town uh, on this creek here that measures the water level. Um, but you want to look and find Bird Town and then just save it as a favorite and then you can come in there and see the uh, feet per second the, the, the moving of the feet per second how how high the water's at and uh give you some kind of indication what you're going to be dealing with when you... okay so i use i like to get the spinner you know that spinner moving and the only way it's going to really do that if it's coming across that current I know a lot of folks talks about throwing up in front of you uh, and, and reeling to you. A lot of times uh, you can get hung up when you do that because the speed of the, the river and you're trying to reel in, uh, it, it don't match too well. But I've never had any problems catching fish, reeling it back to me, uh, bringing it upstream instead of it coming downstream. All right, we're going to start right up in here. Now I'm throwing my favorite lure for Cherokee, and it's a number two uh, blue fox. Like I say, when you're in here, if you fish in Cherokee, uh, one thing you want to do is get out there and throw that lure out in the water and just scan out in there. Uh, they fish been put in here they're going to hit right off otherwise you're just going to pick up one here or one there if you fish real hard but uh, this place up in here can get pretty crowded on the weekend you got a lot of kids fishing and just because it's just easy access but if you come through the weekday uh, ain't too bad Okay. Alright guys, this ought to be an ideal place 
Hopefully we can get one right in here. There he is. There he is right there. Come on up here. Come on up here. Oh yeah. Oh, he's fighting that current. He's fighting that current. Come on over here. Oh. Come off on me. Trying to horse him. All right, another good place to fish. And uh, it's gonna be, if you see right behind me is a Wendy's. If you come down to the Wendy's, there's a parking next, next to it. And there's a bridge right here. This bridge, you wanna fish under the bridge and you wanna fish down to the right. It go, it'll go down here, there's a campground. There's a camp campground right down here. We're gonna walk down there in a little bit. They don't want you walking through the campground on this side. Actually, they'll come out and say something to you. But go down right here. Go down this bank right here. And fish all that down below there where that water's running. We're going down there and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, we're going to walk down this bank right here. Ideal, guys. Ideal holes down here. All right, see that bridge right there? Fish under the bridge. You can fish around that bend, and catch them up in a little shallow water. I've done that. My buddy down there, I caught one. And we're gonna walk down here toward the campground. All right, guys. I got the campground just ahead of me. I got my buddy down here. I'm gonna go down and blow him. Ooh. All right, right in front of me is the campground. Now. When you get down here, you want to fish. It's uh, looks like it might be hard to fish, and it can be. You see how this water is running down through here? You want to fish this little area up against that bank. Go down there. Let's see if we can pick one up in here. Now guys, I got the campground right across from me, and it takes a little bit of effort to get down here. Like I say, you, uh, it looks like the campground might be empty now, so you may be able to, they got a no trespassing sign up over there, stay out, so I'm not sure about telling you to go through the campground, but it takes a little bit of effort once you come down that hill. Up you across the water and I'm gonna fish all down through here. Uh, good holes in here. And this water can get pretty deep. Just on the other side of this ledge, probably over your head. But uh good hole. Come down here and fish it. I'm gonna we'll see what we can do with it. Now this area right in here is ideal if you want to fish a little bit deeper and use uh, night crawlers. This is a split shot and a number uh, number two hook. And just let it run down through this current. You pick it up. All right, guys, another place you want to come to is down here at Jenkins' store. Uh, it's like you're heading toward Bryson City. And hit, hit this bridge right over here. Yeah, throw them right off this bridge down here at Jenkins' store. So make sure you hit that when you're down here. All right, guys, your next spot is on Whitewater Drive at the Burger King in town. Uh, Take a right on that Burger 
take a ride at Burger King on the White Water Drive, go a half a mile, you'll come to a gravel parking lot, a big gravel parking lot. Um, park there, and then you're gonna have to walk down to those rocks. There's a, a set of rocks um, on in the water. You can see them; they're sticking up uh, at the river bend. Now, keep that in mind. The secret is, is at the river bend where the water, where that river makes that little bend and makes that turn. That's where you're gonna be fishing. There's a great hole there right there. There he is, right there. Come on over here. Come on, trout. Ain't no biggie. We'll take him. Oh. See if we can get another one out of here. Just had a hit. Just had a hit. Mm-hmm. Go back over there. We're fishing deep water hole here. Guys. There it is right there. There it is right there. Come on over here. A little deep water area here around these rocks they hanging right. get you over here there you go. number two it's right out here in front of me I think it's a little bit of a drop off, a little ditch area. Oh, he just hit that too. Yeah. Found a little bit of a hole right here, guys. Let's throw, let's throw in here again. Let's see? Yeah. Coming right up in here. That's where they at. Oh, he right that right there. Right there. He picked that up right in front of me. Do. Well guys and gals, I hope you enjoyed this video on Cherokee. The whole purpose is to give you some places to go, some of those fishing holes that I go to. Um, you're not always going to limit out. You may catch a, a few and pick up a few here. Um, like that last spot I was on, Whitewater Drive, I limited out in that little hole. A uh, little small hole. and. Uh, but leave your comments on this uh, uh, video. Uh, this is episode three, so I got a couple more episodes to do on hot spots. So if you like the content, subscribe. And uh, again, leave your comments. Let me know how you how you done at those places. And until next time, God bless you, and have a great week.